In this video, I'll show you how to run Mapbox Atlas on your local computer. We'll set up our environment, install dependencies, and run the Atlas installer wizard. Then we'll spin up an instance on localhost to test the application. To get started, we'll need to download several dependencies, which we can do via the terminal. First, we'll install Homebrew, which we can get by going to brew.sh. From here, we can copy and paste this install script into our terminal and hit return to run. We'll need a few more dependencies that we'll install. wget, openssl, unzip, and pv. To install these dependencies, we'll type brew, install, wget, openssl, unzip, pv. We see a warning message on my machine as I already had these dependencies installed. Next up, we're going to download and set up Docker. By navigating to docker.com, we can click the Get Started button in the top right, and then click the Download for Mac Stable button here. Once the Docker installer has finished downloading, we can double click it to launch. And from here, we can drag Docker into our Applications folder. Once Docker has been successfully moved to your Applications folder, let's go ahead and launch it. And we'll note this animated Docker icon in the top right corner this is letting us know that Docker Desktop is starting and we need a few more moments to boot up. Once the circle has turned from orange to green, we now know that Docker Desktop is running. And from here, I wanna set a few preferences before moving forward. Under General, we want to make sure that Start Docker Desktop when you log in is unchecked. It may have been checked for you by default. We want to leave this unchecked so Docker won't auto start every time you log on to your machine. Under Resources, we want to increase memory to 4 gigabytes. Scrolling down, we want to set the disk image size to 32 gigabytes. Then we'll click Apply and Restart to save our changes, and we'll give Docker a few moments to reboot. Once it has, you can go ahead and move the Docker installer to the trash to eject it. Now that we have our dependencies set up and Docker configured, we'll need to create a Mapbox Atlas token. Let's go to our account dashboard on mapbox.com to do so. From our account dashboard, we can scroll down and click the Create a Token button. And let's name it something meaningful so we can reference it later. Something like Atlas Server sounds good. We can go ahead and deselect all of these public scopes. For security purposes, we want to use the minimum required scopes needed for the job. For our purposes, we'll just need to be sure that the secret scope, Atlas Read, is checked. Once Atlas Read is checked, we can scroll down and click Create Token. Now we see our secret token has been generated and it's titled Atlas Server. We want to save this token in a secure place as we'll need to reference it again later and we'll not be able to view it again after leaving this page. Do not commit the Atlas token to GitHub or share it with anyone outside of your organization. And for security purposes, I'll be deleting this token after recording this demo. Okay, on to the installer. From the menu in the top right corner, we can click that and select Atlas. And this will bring us to the Atlas installer page. From here, we can download the latest release for Mac. So latest release is auto-selected. All we need to do is click the download for Mac button. Once the Atlas installer has finished downloading, we can double click to extract. Once unzipped, let's move the file to a meaningful location for future reference. I'm going to move it to my documents and create a new folder titled Atlas. And before we proceed with running the Atlas installation wizard, we want to make sure that Docker is running. So if you go to your top right and make sure that Docker desktop is running, you're good to go. So what we'll do next is go back to our terminal, and the first thing we're going to want to do is cd into that newly created Atlas folder that we made in My Documents. And if we type in ls, hit return, we do in fact see that the Atlas installer lives there. So to start the installation process, we'll run the install command by typing dot forward slash atlas with a space after, and then we'll type install and hit return. And before the installer wizard appears, depending on your Mac operating system, you may or may not see this. I'm on Catalina. To resolve this, we can go ahead and click this little question mark here and open up the security and privacy pane in system preferences. 
we can go ahead and cancel out of this alert and we will want to choose allow anyway, close out of these. And then we're going to rerun that same command. And then this time we can go ahead and say open and the Atlas command line interface will present itself to us. So the first question is, do you plan to run Atlas on this machine? For the purposes of this install, yes. So we'll type Y and hit return. Paste in that secret token that we saved a while back. You won't see it because it's hidden for security purposes, but it will be pasted and you will press return. Next, we're going to select which version of Atlas we would like to download. We want to get the latest, which is already selected, so we'll hit return. And now we're going to be asked what data we'd like to download. For the purpose of this tutorial, we want to install the first two, Docker Images and Mapbox Streets v7. To deselect geocoding data, we can arrow down and press the space key. And now we just have Docker Images and Mapbox Streets selected. We can go ahead and press return. We are prompted with, would you like to download development data where possible? We want to keep um, the file size small for this download. So yes, we do want to install development data, which is smaller in size than production. Let's type Y for yes and hit return. And lastly, where do you plan to install Atlas? We are going to install in the Atlas server folder within that same directory where we'd move the installer file. So we will hit return to continue. And now the data will begin downloading. Um, depending on connection speed, this may take anywhere from 10 to 20 minutes. So we'll give this a chance to download. All right. Once completed, the terminal will return a message that says download and setup completed. If you take a look at your documents in that new Atlas folder that we had created, you'll see two new folders, Atlas server and Atlas server files. These folders were created as a result of running the Atlas installer wizard and house all of the data that we downloaded. Now we can go ahead and spin up an instance of Atlas on our local computer. Again, make sure that Docker is running. Change directory into the Atlas server directory where Atlas install lives. Next, we'll start the server by typing dot slash atlas dot sh space start. The start script will begin, and this should take about five minutes. We're going to wait until all of the Docker containers um, have reported healthy. After this is successfully completed, we'll get a return message of Atlas is ready at localhost 2999. So let's navigate there in our browser. Our username will be atlas in user, and our password is the word password. The password can be modified in the config file within the Atlas server directory if you wish to do so. We can go ahead and click the sign in button where we'll be brought to the Atlas dashboard. We have Atlas running locally and are able to begin at designing interactive maps with Studio using Kepler GL and much, much more. Please see the official docs for using Atlas with Studio and with other Mapbox products. So that's a wrap for now. The last thing we'll want to do is to stop our Atlas server, and we can do that by going back to our terminal, making sure we are in the Atlas server directory. If we're not, I'll type out the path to documents slash atlas slash atlas server. And from here, we will run the stop command. So we'll type dot forward slash atlas dot sh space stop and hit return. And this will begin the process of stopping all of the images that we're running. So we'll give this a moment to complete. All right, at this point, we can quit the Docker desktop app. And that's all for now. If you need an Atlas license, you can contact sales for a trial at mapbox.com contact.